director, winemaker, and hotelier Francis Ford Coppola is indeed Bernalda's most famous part-time resident. His grandfather, Agostino Coppola, emigrated from Bernalda to America in 1904. The uncles just told all these crazy stories about him, of, of uh, what he was like when he was young and his adventures and from this mythical place he called Bella Bernalda. And so when I was about, um, I guess, 22, I was the first one to come to Bernalda and uh, I drove up into the town and my six words of Italian. I said, I'm Francis Coppola, and I'm the grandson of Augustino Coppola, who's born here. And the people said, oh, yeah, 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 that, that, there's the cousin, uh, the old lady uh, who was living in the old town. And uh, I went there, and uh, they were all very thrilled. I remember being in a little tiny room, and we all sat around in a circle in chairs, and they, you know, we spoke as well as I could with the few words I had and the few words they had. When it was getting later, I realized that I, you know, I didn't know where I was going to sleep because the, they said, oh, you can go and stay with uh, these cousins. And I remember we went into their little, very modest place. The young woman disappeared and the husband appears out of the bathroom in pajamas and he kind of uh, indicated the bed and turned the cover down and said, Senor Franco. And I realized I was going to sleep with him. So I got in my side and he got in his side, but well, then I went to sleep. And the next morning, the wife showed up. I never know where she slept, I guess in the barn or whatever, but she made coffee and then I went on my way. So that was my first uh, impression of Bernalda. After the success of The Godfather in 1972, Bernalda made Coppola an honorary citizen. He returned again and again enjoying his favorite local traditions. Because they have here in the summer a thing I love, which is the Festa of San Bernardino. But they still light up the whole uh, town of Bernardo with beautiful ornamental lights. So colorful, so exciting, and so much fun. And different strange parades with knights going by and people flagellating themselves and monks. It's like really some sort of medieval experience. Coppola eventually bought a palazzo and turned it into a hotel. My favorite spot in the whole place is this oh, courtyard. Really nice. When you step inside the walls of the nine-room Palazzo Margherita, you feel like you've been transported to 19th century Italy. The palatial spaces were personally designed by the Coppola family. Daughter Sophia took a soft touch in her room. Coppola's own quarters reflect his mother's Tunisian heritage. Movies are never far from mind here. The salon turns into a screening room, featuring 400 of Coppola's favorite films. The hotel bar is an homage to Cina Città, the Italian movie studio. Even in the intimate gardens, there is a magic to Palazzo Margherita that is timeless. I always imagine this is the garden that the princess has to stay in, and the prince climbs over the wall. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this is where the, the prince steals the kiss. <laughs> you have to film a movie here. And then here, as we go down, many herbs and fruit, uh, vegetables planted here that end up in the, in the food. Like here, we have rosemary. It's beautiful, even in the rain. It is. The hotel gardens aren't the only place secret encounters happened. The Palazzo holds some interesting Coppola family history. My grandfather was girl crazy. He was even known as a Zuppa Balcone because he would had developed a skill to jump on the rooftop in the, these houses and visit uh, the young girl, the housemaid, whose name was Palmetta. When I came to this palazzo and I was looking the first time when we were planning how to reconstruct it, there was the roof and there was a little room and then the little stairs going down to one of the rooms. And they said, oh, that was the maid's room. So I said, well, uh, maybe that was Palmetta's room. Today, this is where the Coppola family gathers. 100-year-old Uncle Anton, also known as Kiki, is a composer, and his wife, Almerinda, a former ballerina, are here visiting. 
So I had five uncles who I loved very much, who were very good to me. He was especially kind to me. To the extent that he's built this magnificent, not four-star hotel, but ten-star hotel, if you I don't agree. mind. I agree, I agree, it is exquisite. Francis is the, is the king of this town. They'll tell you what you like at seven o'clock. We have a tradition, it's cocktails at seven at Chinechita, please. And that is the happiest <laughs> time of the, of the day. But your father really appreciated to eat. I think the reason for that also is because Berlandese, the, the, the cuisine of Berlandese is so, so attractive and so interesting. There are a couple of food items that come from here that, you know, you could go to Rome and ask for them, and they don't know what you're talking about. You go to Naples and they don't know what you're talking about. Caputzel is half of a, of a sheep's head or a lamb's head with the brains and everything. And there's l'ambrachone, which is a very mysterious, looks like a little onion, but it's the bulb of a flower. Mozzarella stuffed with lambaschone is a favorite of Coppola's and hotel guests. Leonardo Parente is a cheesemaker in Bernalda. So Leo, how old were you when you started to make cheese? At 70. Oh, yeah. 17. Yeah, teenager. And you learned from your father. Yeah, and my grandfather. And, and your grandfather. Yeah, so true. you're carrying on the tradition yeah, yeah. here in Bernalda. Yes. Oh, look at that, whoa. Oh. Don't want to uh, hurt anybody yeah. with that. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I've never made mozzarella no before. I, I oh, want to, ooh, it's hot. Yeah, sure. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh my God, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It's really soft. <laughs> look at that. It's ready. Okay. So what are those? Yes, this what is, is lampagione. Like uh, onion, wild onion. Wild onions. Uh, yeah. And everyone eats them yeah. here Look. in Basilicata. Yes. And you put it inside. Put it inside. Oh, like a surprise. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if I bought some mozzarella and I bit into it and that was in there. Sure. And you put it into cool yeah. water. Yes, cold water. So look at that. Are they ready to eat? Yeah, sure. With lampagione or? Lampagione, of yeah, course. Sure. And when in Bernalda, <laughs> yeah, you eat sure. lampagione. So buon appetito. Buon appetito. Mm. You get the crunch. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, lampagione. Mmm, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of flavor. Good? Mmm, very good. <laughs> This is definitely the freshest mozzarella yeah. I've ever had. I'm gonna keep eating. Uh, yeah. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs>